Pretty soon, although I can't say precisely when, a new version of PTE AV Studio will be released. It's likely to be sooner rather than later. The new version has been on test for a while and I've taken advantage of that time to make a number of videos and create a YouTube playlist called What's New in PTE AV Studio 11. A link to that playlist can be found below plus a link for current users of this software to upgrade. I've also been asked by the creators of the software to make the project that will automatically appear when the software is first installed and run. It's something I've done before. I've also made a short video on the making of this project, the thoughts that go into it and the process I use. This upgrade contains a number of new additions plus improvements to existing features. One of those feature improvements is the shape transition where we can now easily determine where the shape appears within the image or video we're presenting. Quick style is another. It allows us to copy animation but not alter the synchronization or the slide duration of the show we're making. Nested opacity, smoothing motion, and export slides also feature in this upgrade. Animated text is one of the main new features. We can add animation with easy templates or add customization. Here's a small sample of what we can now do with animated text. Another brand new option is displacement maps. These work via masks and some displacement maps have been included to get us started. Don't worry, from a visual point of view they look quite complicated but the techniques are very easy. My video on displacement maps will explain how to apply them and the animation necessary to create the effects. If you're looking for new slide styles, you'll find quite a few of those. This is just one example. Add five images or any multiples of five and apply. Another major addition is four blur options. The main two are directional blur and blur with bokeh. These blur options also feature in new transitions. Other options include over 400 vector graphics added to our text options. These are scalable graphics that we can use to enhance our presentations. Also added are text macros we now have sound in the video editor and there's quite a number of changes to the engine room of the software. If you've already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be informed when these videos are posted. Just bear in mind that I've used an early test version of the software. So small changes are bound to be seen in the final version. PTE AV Studio 11 will continue to feature in my five minute videos and as we discover more creative uses for these new features we'll share them as usual. Most of us shoot lots of images. PTE AV Studio provides us a way to show many more of them and with a bit of style. Look out for these videos coming very soon. Now I haven't mentioned all the changes and improvements in this new version here, but we'll have more time in those videos. Save our What's New in PTE AV Studio 11 playlist. Remember, the link is below. And I'll see you later.